so thus in between happening trade should be called as internal trade or home trade right now again external trade means you can directly say it you can directly say what is that external trade there is no one country involvement there is a manufacturer is one country person and the customers or any other type of buyer he become the other country person that the trade should be external trade if there is no within the boundaries of single country it will be overcome the boundaries of one country the trade taken place between the one country manufacturer and another country cons consumer or customer so in between happening trade should be external trade or internal international trade or foreign trade also we can call now the trade internal trade again we have the three types or again we have the two types sorry again we have the two types one is a wholesale trade secondly retail retail trade wholesale trade and retail trade what is the meaning of wholesale trade what is the meaning of retail trade wholesale trader may buy the products from the manufacturers or producers and that sold to the retailers A particular activity will be taken place by whom is wholesale trader the trader will be doing activity will be called as wholesale trade what he has to do he may buy the product from the manufacturers or producers and that particular products will be not directly sold to the customers he may sold to the retailers so that he become the wholesaler means he may buy the products in bulk from the manufacturers in huge quantity and that the huge quantity of products may be sold as a small quantity products to the retailers to the retailers this is what that the particular person may be taken place of trade is called wholesale trade he is an interlink between the manufacturers and retailers this is what we have the wholesale trade now the for retail trade what is the meaning of retail trade he may buy the goods from the wholesalers wholesalers and sold to ultimate customers ultimate customers in this happening trade will be called as retail trade in it who is participating he become called as retail trader retail trader he is the direct product given to the customers who are needed who want to buy the product for his domestic use purpose his personal or family purpose he may go to retailer and retailer through he bring the product and using it so that the retailer not only buy from the manufacturers he only buy from the wholesaler that the wholesaler will be sold the goods to retailer and retailer will be sold goods to customers this is the process he may the what is the meaning of retail trade he may buy the products from the wholesaler wholesaler and sold to the customers it is only the retail trading what is the meaning of wholesale trading means he may buy the products from the manufacturers or producers and sold it to retailers this is what we have the internal internal trade types wholesale trader as well as the retail traders now wholesale traders what are the services are provided and retail traders will be providing services to the man wholesalers and the customers the wholesaler may be providing services to manufacturers side as well as the retailers or retailers like that we have to see next now we have to see again this one it is a clearly we know we are discussing in our next chapter that is only the ninth chapter that is only the ninth chapter that will be seen in the next class even now we have to discuss about the types so that once we have to 
check it out what is the meaning of internal trade international trade means that international trade is nothing but the trade activities are made between the two or more countries it should be the international trade here the buyer is one country person and seller is another part country person in between happening trade should be called as international trade or foreign trade this is a foreign trade or international trade or external trade will be three types how many types we have three types one is home trade home trade another one is export trade home trade is not import export trade export trade import trade and entry port trade entry port trade or it is also called as re export trade re export trade means the external trade will be the three types namely export trade import trade and entry port trade export import entry port trade what is the meaning of export trade like that will be discussed in the ninth chapter but briefly i here explain you Ex export trade is means if you have we are in india so in your india we have the surplus products after consumption of the our people is there additional products also will be there those will be sold to other country in the situation our products will be goes to other country that should be the export trade we are exporting the goods to other country we have the surplus products in our country those which are surplus products will be there those will be sold to other countries it become the export trade import trade what is the meaning of import trade if you want some products that is not able to produce or in our product or in our india or there is a shortage of particular products in our india anyway in between situation we may buy the products from the other countries we are buying the goods from the other country that the import trade we are we are importing the goods from other countries that should be the we are buying buying and selling means trade only so we are buying the products from the other country that will be the import trade okay export trade and import trade now we have we have to see entry port trade what is the meaning of entry port trade initially that is not for ourselves that particular not for ourselves or raw material anything that will be imported by you and some modifications made to you and that again you may sold to other countries so that should be the entry port trade that is not for ourselves it is not required to us it will be re requiring to other countries if the particular other country may not having good relation with the other same which are producer same products for example you can say here the bangladesh for example pakistan india for example when i said there is no good relation between them there is no good good relation between pakistan and bangladesh but we have the good relation with the bangladesh and pakistan some sort only i say example here what happened bangladesh need the goods for example x the name itself x good is needed who the bangladesh will be needed the x good but particularly x good may not manufactured in our india in our india the particular x name product may not be manufactured in our india where it is manufactured in pakistan itself they are this x good is manufactured this particular x good may not you know, required to india but it is required to bangladesh so if they have the good relation bangladesh people may be importing the goods to, from pakistan then they will be satisfied but there is no good relation at all so that we giving the 
information to India. India will be buying the goods and some sort of manufacturing changes or any other type of alterations may be made and that the particular product again will be exported to Bangladesh. Here what happened? Initially, India will be importing the goods that the same goods again exporting to Bangladesh. In, in between process of trade is called entry port trade or re-export trade. This is what we have the internal trade types of trade. The trade may be how many types? Two types. Internal trade and external trade. Internal trade again how many types? Two types. Namely wholesale trade, retail trade. Whereas the external trade will be the three types. One is the export trade, import trade and entry port trade. This is what we have the types. Now we have to see the wholesalers services and retailer services.